This week, we're going to talk about an exciting topic, fuel drains for our home-built aircraft. Whether we want to place them in the bottom of our fuel tanks to check for water or other contaminants, or we want to drain the fuel at the end of a flying season, we need convenient ways to drain our fuel from somewhere in our fuel system. And rather than just putting a plug in the bottom, there are a number of very nice options that make this task easy. For showing examples of fuel drains, we're going to use the bottom of a fuel tank. This also could be a gas escalator or other low point in your fuel system. Our first example is going to be this plug. It has a square bottom and we simply thread it into our outlet. And this is not real convenient because we have to go get a wrench to remove it each time we want to drain our fuel and of course all of the fuel will come out at one time. So certainly it's okay if it's one of those areas that we will drain once in a great while but generally not a very elegant solution. Much more useful is the push to drain type of valve. For draining fuel we simply press upwards and the fuel will exit out the center. So this is perfect for quick and easy testing of fuel or for draining small amounts. The one drawback is if we want to empty the entire tank you need to spend some time with your finger up here until all of the drain all of the fuel has evacuated. Not very convenient for a complete drainage other than removing the entire valve and letting it all fall out. So we have our locking valve. This is either on or off depending on how you set the valve. This also threads in by pushing and rotating now the fuel will continue to evacuate until you turn it back off. This is perfect for being able to drain the entire contents, let's say at the end of a flying season or for other purposes. Another option for the push to drain is this valve with a rubber hose barb on the end. This has the added feature that with a hose attached when you go to drain you still have to push but then you can direct the fuel through a hose. Not quite as messy but again you can't drain the entire tank unless you stand here and hold it continuously. All of these drains we've seen so far can also be installed on the bottom of a gas escalator. In this example, this gas escalator has a twist to lock on or to lock off, as you so desire, again, to empty all of the fuel, especially if this is at the lowest part of your fuel system, it will drain everything. One of the most common complaints I hear about using these fuel drains is that they sometimes leak or drip or ooze fuel out. Especially the spring-loaded ones, when you release it, you expect the fuel to stop and sometimes you may see them drip or ooze the fuel out. There are two reasons for this happening. Remember that these drains are always located at the lowest point of your fuel tank or other parts of your fuel system, which means this is where all of the sediment or dirt that is inside the tank is going to come. It's going to come, try to pass right through this valve. Now, first of all, keep in mind that these valves that I've shown here thread with NPT fittings into the tank, 
which means we must use the appropriate fuel sealer compound on these threads before threading them into their connection. It could be leaking there, but typically it is not. But just keep in mind that if you do replace these, make sure you have that proper sealant on there. These valves essentially all work the same because they're constructed the same way. When I push down to open the valve, if you notice, there is a set of holes that allow the fuel to escape. And the fuel comes through or into that tiny hole and through the center and out. And usually what happens when we find that they're leaking when they're closed is that a small amount of debris, and you'd be surprised what you'd find in here, has caught either in the hole or right on the lip and when this is closed, it's not really closed all the way. You really can't see it because that debris gets jammed in there. You can see the debris if you take this out. The problem is you usually cannot see the debris or clear it without taking this out. And then you will very easily see a piece stuck in there. Where does that stuff come from? Well, remember, this is at the bottom of your fuel system, bottom of your fuel tank or gas escalator, and that's where all of the debris ends up, trying to get through these drains, and they do get caught in that little hole. The tiny piece of aluminum fragment, this came from our aluminum tanks when we were drilling holes, and especially when your home built is new, if you don't get everything flushed out, a tiny shard of aluminum like this can be all that is needed to keep this valve from sealing when you think it's closed. So the fix for this is to simply remove the valve and open it up and make sure everything is clean in there. Of course, the problem is all of your fuel needs to be emptied from the tanks. Now the second reason these things are known to leak is that you notice a O-ring at the very top, this one is black, that is the sealing mechanism when this is closed. If that O-ring has either got a piece of dirt on it or is worn off, you simply remove it, either use a small pick or just cut it or break it off. And I'm using a vice grip to hold this open. It's a little easier. After pulling off the original O-ring, you simply want to purchase a new O-ring. Now, this one is blue because it's made out of Viton, and it is a superior compound for use with fuel. These replacement O-rings are available very inexpensively at your favorite aircraft supplier pur purposely for replacing them on your fuel drains. We simply push this over the end and that will snap into place. Between a new O-ring and keeping the dirt out of there, these valves will not leak on you. But those are the two things to check if you have a valve that is leaky. The first time you find yourself with an aircraft full of bad gas, that's when you wish you had a fuel drain properly operating and located in a good spot. Otherwise, you have kind of a mess trying to disconnect a fuel line somewhere to let the gas out.